Retinitis pigmentosa is a important issue in vision. I am Dr. Goyal speaking from Sanjeevan for Perfect Eyesight, Bombay. Retinitis pigmentosa in short is called as RP which is inherited chronic degenerative disease of eye which mostly affect retina. Mostly the retinal peripheral cells which is made up of rods are affected more and it goes from periphery to center. It is mostly inherited. It comes from the generation to generation. If not, then mutation of the genes can be possible. In this disease, genes changes. The genes which are responsible for cells of retina, they get affected. Suppose single cell defective cell coming from both parents can give rise to this disease. In this mostly night vision get affected. That's why it is called as night blindness also. As the rods are more affected than cones, then it's called as rod cone dystrophy also. Mostly in this disease, problem starts in the night vision. As I said just now, it is called as night blindness. The most common symptom of disease is night vision and peripheral vision. Night vision like in the darkness vision has problem. The people start facing problem in the night vision and movement in the darkness coming down from the step the depth perception also get affected. Peripheral vision is the most be affected. That's why Slowly, 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 every day vision get deteriorated from periphery to central side. That gives a tunnel vision. And the tunnel gets smaller, 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 smaller. If it affects the middle part also, which is the macular area, the function of macular area is day vision, fine vision and color vision. If that also get affected, then it is called as atypical RP. Typical RP is that when the periphery is get affecting and the center part is clear. So they have good fine vision, day vision, color vision. So they may not break out the problem because everything being taken care of with the central vision. But if that also get affected, then it's called as atypical RP. And if it is only periphery, center is clear is called as typical RP. In that, if the tunnel starts becoming lesser, 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 lesser caliber, like from bigger to small, 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 then it can get fused, the person can become blind. So this is very important disease and it is mostly inherited. Mostly no, it is inherited only, but if the genes are not passing, if suppose we have seen 50% of cases, they don't have family history. So the cause of that type of retinitis pigmentosa is not explained but we can say the mutation of the genes can be possible that's why they must be getting affected. Cure of this disease is not possible but treatment is also possible by the integrated method that we will talk in the later another videos in this but today I will talk this much only about the disease and see you in the next video. Thank you.